Hey guys, Kika and Rachel here from K&R Traveling Far, and we are here in... Canyonlands National Park. In Utah. In Utah, but that's not what we're telling you about today. Today, yes. we're gonna tell you and fill you in on our 50 day road trip. We're gonna give you days seven to 10, which we're at Yellowstone, Yellowstone National, National Park. Park. loved Yellowstone. It's an interesting spot. So if you don't know, Yellowstone is known for all of its geothermal activity, which basically means hot things under the ground with rocks that create really cool things on the surface. And actually half of the world's geothermal activity is in Yellowstone. So this is really the place to go if you want to go see all that stuff. So there's a lot going on in Yellowstone, but we're just going to give you our top five places and things that we did at Yellowstone. So start them off with number five. Starting off with number five, we would say Mount Washburn. Mount Washburn was a 7.3 mile hike and it was a great hike, but to be honest, Yellowstone has too many other things that if you're only there for a short amount of time, don't waste your time on the hike. It was beautiful, really cool things. Other people said they saw bighorn sheep. One guy was like, I see one every time. We saw none, just in case you're wondering. But there's a bathroom at the top, which is actually pretty legit. It's an old fire station. So again, great hike. It was awesome, but there's too many great things in Yellowstone, but we still liked it. Yeah, you can even get self-service up there because there's like true. a whole Verizon uh, thing going yeah, on up there. Funny. I think they probably paid a lot of money to be up it's there. Anyway, true. that was number five. Number four. Well, number number four, four is the Mud Volcano. Mud Volcano. Okay, so this is kind of crazy because because of how hot the whatever stuff, the <laughs> geothermal activity uh -huh. that comes out of the ground is, it, it melts the rocks that are under, that are on top of it and turns them into mud. And then so we get there and we start walking around and we see all this mud that's just bubbling. bubbling and mud. it kind of smells bad. Yes. It smells like this sulfur. So you walk around this whole area, bad. but it smells it smells terrible, but it re looks really, really cool. So we put that as our number four. It was incredible. We highly recommend we it. We found it by accident on the way to Mount Washburn. So when you see those things by accident, stop, go. Yes. Number and three. Number three is Mammoth Hot Springs. Okay, so again, we've talked about different ways that the water comes out. A different way is these terraces, terrace springs, something like that. Um, but it's really cool because it's just all of these different ways that um, the limestone then interacts with the sulfur and with all of these crazy things. So it actually adapts and changes a lot. So there was tons of cool things there. It was a really cool little walk. We really enjoyed it. There also was great ice cream there, so. And coming in at number two, our second coolest thing, which is obviously the most well-known thing of Yellowstone is the geysers. Um, so obviously Yellowstone, the, the most well-known one is Old Faithful. Uh, and so when you get there, uh, you get there at certain times and you might see in this video, for example, oh, it looks like there's nobody there. But if uh, you see in this other video, there's actually tons so of people many. there when it's going off. Uh, so the cool thing about Old Faithful is that it's not the biggest geyser, it's not even the most consistent geyser, but it's the one that they can predict the most uh, frequently and when it's going to go off and so that's why people are always gathered there and that's why and it's, it's most well known. And it's the easiest to get to actually. Yeah, it's there like was super... There a guy that was on oxygen in his wheelchair that yeah. was brought out to Old Faithful and I was like, that is dedication but I'm also thankful that you get to see this too because that's cool. There's All this right. whole little walk that you can go through and that's where you'll see, again, we'll see you show you clips too but there's a really beautiful colored one and all of these different things. They also have times of when other ones should be um, Going off. Going off. So, so there was like the, the daisy one that we also got to see. So there's lots of different ones. So make sure to check those and plan your walk accordingly. But that was super cool. It does smell bad, but you know, the fun, cool things to see. Yeah. And what you mentioned there is in that same loop, those colored pools, they're called hot springs, right? And so these hot springs, just the colors in there are mind boggling. Like I can't understand why they look like that. Obviously it's the tiny little things that are living in the microorganisms that are making it look really cool. Well, but also just, again, they have everywhere, but take care of our parks because it's really sad because the colors actually change with different pollution. And people like Kika who desperately want to just throw something into the geyser, that's really bad. He I did, did it. it. <laughs> but that really hurts the whole ecosystem. It can totally change everything. So, you know, be, be careful when you're in. Okay, number one. one. We might be a little controversial at having this be our number one, but the most beautiful thing that we saw was the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Who knew that there was a Grand Canyon at Yellowstone? I mean, what I this looks like that. is Yellowstone, and it looks like Grand Canyon too, but apparently there's a Grand Canyon in a lot of places. It was amazing. 
giant waterfall, beautiful, just the ways that the river has cut through the rock and just the different colors. It was amazing. We loved it. So that for sure is our number one. You can't go to Yellowstone without going to them. We know that you'll go to Old Faithful, but you have to go to that one too. Okay, I also want to give a little like plus one and a tip. So plus one is the animals. Guys, Yellowstone has so many cool animals. So we drove through Hayden Valley a few different times and just drive slow. There are bison everywhere. We straight up saw one do a roll over. I was like so excited. I felt like I was watching my dog, but it's literally this like huge giant bison. We saw a bear in Grand Teton. We did not see a grizzly bear in Yellowstone. But again, I was really thankful we went to a ranger talk. We love the ranger talks. And he was giving this whole conversation. I've been freaking about bears the whole time. Like you can tell Kika, I was like singing around corners. We had our bear spray. I was afraid. And the guy was like, actually, just so you know, more people get attacked by bison than they do by bears. You really shouldn't be afraid of bears. They're more afraid of you. Apparently bison are really dumb is yeah. what this ranger said. He said they're so dumb that sometimes there'll be two grazing <laughs> together in the same area and one will walk into a geyser and fall right through and die. And the other one's like, hmm, more grass for me to eat. And then just keeps going and <laughs> doesn't understand that there's danger there. Yeah, it's so. kind of crazy. So they're dumb, but they get angry fast. And so he was saying bears are actually much more, less likely to harm you. So, I mean, don't ever get between a bear and their cubs, but you know, just other things. But that was really cool. So make sure to check out all the animals. We also saw lots of elk. The one thing that we didn't know, bring binoculars because you just can't see any, like you can see some things, but we tried to go out to like the animal lookout spots and well, we just looked like idiots because it was like, cool, I see something, but I can't see it. And so bring binoculars if you're planning to go see the animals because you can't see much without them. Yeah. Our last tip that I just want to give you is early, early, early. We have planted a beautiful picture of Yellowstone. There are people everywhere. It is actually kind of insane how many people there are, how quickly everything fills up. It, it is wild. Again, like the fact that the Grand, uh, the fact that the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone is our favorite thing is a little surprising because there were people everywhere, but it was that beautiful. Get there as early as you can. We were camping in Grand Teton and would literally leave at like. 515, 536, so that we could get to Yellowstone to try to avoid the crowds. And then you see the animals along the way because they're in the dawn and at the dusk is when they're out. So it works out nicely, but get there early because you will be thanking yourself because it is just kind of crazy. So pick what you want to do first and make sure you do that. There you go. That's but we love Yellowstone, but I will say we still like Teton better. So if you haven't yet watched our video about Grand Teton, check in the link below. Um, but we loved Teton. Yellowstone, you got to see it. But if you want to hike, go to Teton. Yeah. But then visit the geysers and then go back to Teton. Yeah. It's only a half, an hour and a half away from where we were uh, camping at Teton. So, you know, you can do it. You can do it's it. reasonable. It's reasonable. Cool. Well, that's our top five for Yellowstone. Thanks for watching our video and we'll have a lot more coming up because as you can tell, we're still in beautiful places and we want to share those with you. Um, so uh, make sure to subscribe so you can make sure to watch and see the next video as it comes up. And we'll see you guys at the next video. See ya. Peace.